A large Mennonite family are making the difficult choice to leave the only life they know in rural Ontario behind them now to get a life-saving surgery for their teenage daughter in Toronto. As the family prepares for the many changes that lie ahead, our Stu Mills caught up with them at their remote century-old farm. This family farm is a long way from the city and city life. Things move pretty slowly here, and that's the way they like it. In fact, you could say doing things the old-fashioned way is how they prefer to do it. The Horsts and their seven children are Mennonites. Tamara. Though they moved to this remote farm in 2009, in many ways what they were looking for was 1909. What we're really reaching for in, in family life and in how we want to live life is a little bit like they did 100 years ago. They chose a rural life close to other Mennonites and not much else. So the kids are all homeschooled. This land and this life two hours from Ottawa is the family's slice of heaven. But in March, doctors dropped a bomb on the family. 14-year-old Amanda has restrictive cardiomyopathy and without a heart transplant, the teenager will surely die. The only place Amanda can get a heart is at Sick Kids Hospital in downtown Toronto. So Amanda and the rest of the children are saying goodbye to the animals and getting ready to move to a rented house in Toronto for up to two years. This teenager says she'd prefer not to have to move to the city. Like you feel almost trapped, like you can't get out and you just can't, yeah, you just feel closed in almost. Amanda's mom is trying to prepare seven kids for what will be a radically new way of life, even joking that they might actually like it. We've talked about that. It's like, oh, maybe we won't want to come back. We we'll live too close to Walmart. The costs of moving a family of nine to Toronto are enormous, so friends and neighbours are chipping in with a fund to help the Horst family with expenses. There are enormous risks ahead. It'll be the family's greatest test, but they're taking it on together with hope and faith, knowing that whatever comes, this place will be waiting for them when they return. Stu Mills, CBC News, near Bancroft.